Let's get started. Today we're going to be making a unicorn. And the first thing that you'll want to do is make a shape that looks like this. We have a straight line. We come down with a slightly diagonal line. We have a curved angle. And then we come up, back up to the top. And so the top part of our unicorn's head is going to be smaller than the bottom part. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make a horn for our unicorn and we're going to just make a triangle at the top of his or her head. And inside that triangle, we're going to make some slanted lines, some diagonal lines. And then let's put some ears on our unicorn. And those are just curved lines that are hooked together. Let's move down to our unicorn's face and we're going to make a curved line at the bottom that looks like this. And then inside this curved line space, we're going to make a little smile. And then I always like to make little cheeks on my unicorn. You can color those in with a little bit of pink if you'd like. If you don't want to put the cheeks on there, that's okay too. Let's make some wide set eyes. And I like to make eyelashes, just two or three. Now let's move down to our unicorn's body. We're going to make a curve line and another curve line. That's going to be our body of our unicorn. And then we're going to have two legs sticking down here in the front. So I have two lines here and I have two lines here. At the bottom of those lines, I'm going to close them up. And then I'm going to put some small hooves at the bottom as well. Now at this point, I can close this up right here at the very, very bottom. And then I'm going to make his back legs, his or her back legs coming out. It's going to be like he's sitting down. So we put a leg here with a hoof at the bottom and a leg here with a hoof at the bottom. All right, let's make a little bit of a mane coming out the side. We can't see the whole mane because it's on the back of our unicorn. And then a little tail coming out from the back. If you'd like to make a different type of a tail, go ahead and do that. Now my unicorn is going to be sitting on some grass. So I'm going to make a straight line, jump over my unicorn, come out the other side. And then I'm going to make some little sprigs of grass coming out just to add a little bit of detail. And I think in the background, I'm going to have a rainbow. So I'm going to make some curved lines just on the side corner of my paper, just like that. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm going slowly and carefully so I do my best work. Maybe one more. Jump right on over my unicorn and come out the other side. I think I'm going to put a white fluffy cloud up here on this side to fill up the space. And then if you see anything else on your piece of paper that you would like to fill up with more drawings, you can go ahead and do that now. Actually, I think I want to put something right here. So I think I'm going to put a small flower. So I have my stem in the middle part of my flower and then my petals and then a little leaf. There, I'm really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you next time.